In this video, we're going to unravel the mystery of what happens to your equity release scheme when you die. So stick around if you want to know. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Your engagement helps us create more informative videos like this one. Equity release is a way for homeowners, often seniors, to unlock the value of their property without having to sell up. There are two main types of equity release, lifetime mortgages and home reversion. Lifetime mortgages are a loan secured against your home. You can choose to make repayments or let the interest roll up. Home reversion involves selling part or all of your home to a home reversion provider for a lump sum or regular payment. You have the right to continue living in the property until you die. When you pass away, your property is usually sold. The proceeds from the sale are used to pay off the equity release loan. If you have a lifetime mortgage, the loan and any accrued interest are paid off. If there's any money left, it goes to your estate. If you have a home reversion plan, the reversion company will take its share of the sale proceeds. The remainder goes to your estate. If your property's value has increased significantly, your estate could benefit from this. However, if your property's value has decreased, your estate won't have to cover the shortfall. The equity release provider will give your executors a set time, usually 12 months, to sell the property. If it's not sold within this time, they might step in to sell it. The amount left over after the loan is repaid is distributed according to your will. If you don't have a will, it's distributed according to the rules of intestacy. If you have a joint equity release plan, things can be slightly different. The surviving partner can continue to live in the property until they die or move into long-term care. If there's negative equity where the debt is more than the property value, most equity release plans come with a no negative equities guarantee. This means your estate won't have to pay back more than your property's sale price. It's important to discuss your equity release plan with your family. They should understand what it means to their inheritance. Many people use equity release to help their loved ones financially while they're still alive. This can reduce the amount left over when they die. In some cases, your family might decide to repay the equity release loan and keep the property. They would need to do this within set time limit. Equity release is a big decision with long-term implications. It's important to seek professional financial advice. Before you sign up for an equity release plan, consider all your options. You might decide that downsizing or taking in a lodger is a better option for you. Remember, equity release isn't the right option for everyone. Consider your future needs and discuss it with your loved ones. Thanks for watching our video on how do equity release work when you die. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very helpful to us and would be greatly appreciated.